Hi, Brandy. <coughs> um, just to answer your question. Hi. Thank you for the video review. You're welcome. I wanted to know, please, in portrait photography, are you supposed to be able to see the details in the eyes of the subject? I was a bit confused because in the review you had said that pictures are pin sharp. Said that said that the pictures were pin sharp but when i was shooting with them they had seemed so blurry to me thank you also i wanted to know if you have any recommendations of um of a website in the us that prints nice quality pictures so i can print them please thanks again okay um so you've um the idea of seeing stuff in the eyes i i don't think you can make a rule on that um if there is a rule i don't know it um I just pulled up this picture, which is a clear picture of a kid's eyes. Um, <clears throat> I think it's too, the way that I see it is even if there is a rule, it would be too complicated to try and engineer uh, no reflections or even having reflections is quite, I suppose you could just move to a window. It would depend, you'd probably compromise the light. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't think there is an answer. Graphically, uh, if this triangle of white wasn't here and this was just the blue pattern, um, would it be less, would it be worth graphically less than this? Um, I, maybe you could say that this triangle adds um, a, an energy to the uh, to just the, the blue here. You could maybe argue that. Um, don't be so concerned. Be, be thinking, well, before you start thinking about catch lights in the eyes, start thinking about light on the face of the subject. Okay, that's probably the best, uh, that's my best advice. Um, the in regards to your pictures being blown, I don't I don't have the pictures with me right now. Uh, but like I said, there's there's it's important. Like you know, you can see this picture's pin sharp as you go very far in. But um, a picture isn't you know it doesn't mean that the pictures are worthless if it's not pin sharp. And plus, when you're talking about a subject that's far away, then obviously the less the less the pin sharpness actually makes a difference and it also depends on the printing and if they're just looking at on a phone or a slideshow or something in a slideshow you can get away with the images that really aren't pin sharp because then you pop up for a second and you still get the full whack of the image um in regards to recommendations for websites in the u.s printing nice quality pictures we use smug mug i haven't personally seen the quality but we've only heard good things from our clients um, smug mug is a good option if you follow the the website design class it will explain to you how to set up your smug mug site uh, I've been with them now for like um, I don't know seven eight years and uh, they've they have exceptional service if things do go wrong occasionally things do go wrong they fix it up um, you get unlimited online storage they're, they're a good option are there other options out there there's for sure loads of other options out there is this the best option I don't know but I know that it's a good option so uh, I wish you all the all the best of luck. Bye.